Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, this is for the Gemini sign. Thank you so much Gemini for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Gemini for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Gemini, please click the bell and click the subscribe button, okay? This reading for today, this is a love reading. This is a love message for you. Let us see who has the most romantic energy towards you. What is their truest feelings? What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is a love reading. This is a love message for the Gemini sign. This reading for today, um, I'm going to be channeling or connecting to an existing person that you've you probably dated them or you met them already okay so this is not a new person uh, this is not a new love okay all right Ooh, look at that you could be dealing with a Capricorn what is the guided message for the sign of Gemini please you have the Capricorn card you have the Leo card it's already Leo season you have the Queen of Wands. What is the love message, the love reading for the Gemini sign? You have the Four of Wands. You have the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> you have the Four of Pentacles. The hidden energy is the Ten of Wands. You get that. Oh, wow, this is very complicated. <clears throat> and you've got the Judgment card. Whoa. All right. It looks like someone is going to challenge you. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's start the reading, Gemini. Well, you're starting the reading with the naughty card. Okay. This is a very naughty card. Okay. Um, they're very naughty in yourself. So this is like a love and hate relationship. This is like a, a moth in the flame. This is like a Tom and Jerry relationship in here. Um, I mean... You know that song from, you know, there's a song from J Jordan, Jordan Spark. Um, no matter what you say about love, you keep coming back. This is the theme song of you and this person with the devil card. Is that no matter what you say about them and what you've gone through to them, you're still connected to them in some devil energy it's like a chocolate it's hard to resist with the capricorn card in here you can tell me i'm gonna forget about this person but as soon as they direct message you you're gonna reply you know with the devil card in here um it's okay sometimes we are intertwined like um sometimes we have to understand why we have this like with you, Gemini, I think you haven't really figured it out. What is drawing you to this person? Like so you're so drawn to them like a moth in the flame. I think you haven't figured it out. That certain amount of energy that like you have for them. Um, it's exciting. You know, with the devil card in here, it's exciting. It's exhilarating. It is the vibe the feelings the passion that you want okay this is exactly the feelings that you would like to have but it's very unpredictable with the devil card in here um they feel the same way too they're not over but they're not like this person is not over with you but they haven't reached a level of understanding why they couldn't commit and why they couldn't leave you behind so there's a lot of whys in discovering and talking that you and this person will still uh, be spending. The Sun card, yeah, Two of Swords. <clears throat> um, this is like a stalemate. It's like it's not over, but you guys are not in the position. Like it's not over, but you guys are not talking. It's not over, but you guys are not communicating. It's not over. And um, with the Two of Swords... It's not over, Gemini. They still think of you and desire you. Um, they still stalk you. Um, this person, specifically Gemini, um, right now, it's the Leo season already. So 
they're positioning themselves again to reach out uh, to book a time to see you to visit you they will be active again so that's a very straightforward reading in here I could feel with the Leo season it's giving them especially after the Capricorn full moon so the Capricorn full moon in the last three days um, it has given them again the the excitement um, they have moved on from the bad romance in the past that you shared and they're excited to be friends they're excited to date you again they're excited to see you again they're excited like a queen of wands they're like a social butterfly full of energy full of passion and they're so available for love and romance and everything that is included in love and romance they're so available for that so this person is full of energy full of enthusiasm in fact regardless of what happened between the two of you in the past they don't think about that they only think of connecting with you and the feelings that they will um, like they miss they miss the feelings of being with you you light their you you ignite like you you turn their light heart on Gemini yeah Queen of Swords look at that it's time right now this person is getting ready to connect with you and the way they're gonna connect with you it's like it's time to connect with Gemini and revive the passion the thing is it's very passionate it's very unpredictable it's going to take over they're gonna take over but they don't have a plan it's like they're gonna connect today and tomorrow and tomorrow it's very spontaneous what's coming towards you in the immediate future future in terms of love and relationship it's a queen of wands it's very spontaneous they come in they want to see you they talk to you dinner coffee kiss makeup and so on and so forth and there is a familiar like the intuitive cat so this person is following the passionate intuition they just keep on going they don't have a structure Gemini they just want to spend lots of time with you someone is coming in I'm telling you right now with a four of wands someone from the past is coming in and they're not ready to disclose four of pentacles in here they're not ready to disclose their feelings their plan but they're so ready to spend time with you to date to talk to flirt to kiss to make up to have fun you know what more than romance this person is very comfortable with you more than the romantic vibe this person really likes your personality they really like your personality you bring out the best and the passionate vibe in them you make them feel alive whether this is a third party or a hidden energy you are so worth the taking a leap of faith or taking a risk okay uh, nine of swords four of pentacles in here let's see they want to spend lots of time as soon as you as soon as you reply to them they will book a date a meeting a schedule and on and on and on and on and on so they're all for spending the time with you yeah once you start because the nine of swords I should have said that because because before I, before I even pulled the hierophant card I could already feel that once you start talking about relationship a commitment making it exclusive making it official they will kind of avoid it like they're like when it comes to passion kiss makeup adventure date dinner coffee uh, life fun excitement ambition they're all for that but once you start talking about the future of you and them um, exclusivity um, official them committing to you they will be quiet they will be avoidant okay it looks like they can be romantic but they don't want any commitment they want to have fun and romance but they couldn't make it up when it comes to committing with you exclusively I think you are aware of that but the thing with this person Gemini is that although they couldn't really figure it out 
when to commit exclusive with you, exclusively with you. But with the four of wands and ten of wands, they're gonna make you crazy in terms of spending time. Like this is a person who, like if this is like casual or you're gonna be their girlfriend or boyfriend for a week or two weeks, you will enjoy it. You will feel um, lavishly be given this person like this person will lavishly give you the attention the romance and everything they will spend time and money with you but they're still going through some problem some something that they're setting up something connected to their past so they might not stay like this is like a seven day relationship or two weeks at least but i think you're quite aware that they have an open problem or open situation thing that until that is done then maybe can, they can they can be exclusive with you you know what is what they're highlighting me is that once they're on like once this person comes in um they're all over you and they're gonna give it all but they might turn it off okay like it's like it's when they're with you it's like crazy you feel the happiest the romantic and everything they will make you feel love and romance and smothered by this person in terms of love and romance but they tend to disappear like i'm really picking up it's time to power up with you gemini your love your romance your your being around you it just makes them feel alive okay yeah look at that they will take a risk they want romance then after they get what they want i feel after they power up from the romance they could disappear they have a problem this person they're sorting something connected to life travel business also connected to health connected to maybe an ex-partner or maybe a previous relationship or maybe they're still in the partnership but i would say this person they're quite addicted to you and whatever energy they're getting from you and they want more of that um i see this person and yourself eventually coming to a point where we've got to define this you know the ten of swords of judgment card eventually this person gemini will have to make up their mind i think i think they're aware that they can only come back to you for a certain period of time and like okay this is the second the third or the fourth attempt after the sixth attempt i don't think gemini will you know will let me in so they know that they've got a deadline like somehow this person gemini is aware that they they need to work on a deadline because one day you will not let them in and they're aware of that and while you go romantic with them they're sorting out something in the background so that one day when they come back they wouldn't leave i think this person has, is that to be honest with you gemini this person is not very vocal of what they're doing in the background to fix the block between the two of you they're not very vocal they're not telling you because when they think of you you're all about romance fun and adventure they don't want to talk about problems to you maybe they're opening up with their problems but more than that they don't want to focus on the problem because they have a solution it might take some time you are the inspiration you are the inspiration you are the muse so when they have problem they go to you as an inspiration as a muse they forget the problem they feel relieved they feel inspired they go back to the problem and they have more strength and power to solve the problem so i think there is an existing block or challenge between the two of you for some of you guys you're aware of that for some of you guys you're aware of it but you're not fully aware of the intensity of that problem that they're resolving because this person they have they put a face of I'm okay I'm good I want to have some fun you are their dessert like you know you are you are the person that they work hard and if they want some reward 
if they want to be rewarded with emotional stimulation and romance and inspiration, they go to you. So you are very important to them. And they're aware, again, I'm going to repeat, this person is very aware that one day you wouldn't accept them. One day you will reject them. That's why this person is going through some task and cleaning up because they cannot keep you like this. Yeah, High Priestess. Thank you, Spirit. Like this person is intuitively, emotionally, and intellectually intellectually aware that one of these days you will reject them you will ignore them you won't let them in while they still can come back to you they want to enjoy it they want to be romantic and then high priestess once everything is settled they can come back to you and never going anywhere the high priestess is here it means that this is something known this is something that Whenever it, when it comes to this person, you know your situation, you know your place. I am not to judge, but you might say like, no, sunshine, I'm not going to let them in. You have the devil card. You could be like two days, you could push them away. But after two days, I see you with a two of cups with them. This is a, this is a reading where if you just want to power up with romance and you're good at not being attached with this person is a win you know because you're gonna enjoy it and then it has an expiration date and you can good you can go back to your normal days like normal 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 routine or you could you could detach from them to be honest with you this person is really a great lover but they're very problematic it's a problem with this person ten of swords I'm look yeah but they will ve like what I said, guys, they will be able to find their way out of the Ten of Swords. Probably September. They keep coming back to you so you're interested. Like this is a person who I'll keep coming back to you, Gemini. So I keep you interested. So when the time is right, I don't have a problem. When I come back to you, you're still interested with me. They're very wise. There's a high priestess in here, Gemini. Again, it's it's going to be up to you. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, click the bell, click subscribe, and I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day, Gemini. Bye-bye.